Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Andrew Laidley. Supreme Ventures and Main Event Entertainment Group have announced plans to create a new production company. The announcement comes at a time when the entertainment industry is still under lockdown. But the two companies are confident that the production company will do well. It all started with news that Supreme Ventures has purchased a 10% stake in Main Event Entertainment Group. SVL Chairman Gary Paird now announcing that the share acquisition is just the beginning. One of the things that's going to come out of this acquisition of 10% is that SVL and, Kim, SVL and Main Event have an understanding that we will form a production company. Um, it will be owned 50% 50, 50 each, SPL and main event. And that production company, we believe, is going to take advantage of huge potential in, in, in the marketplace. Main event CEO Solomon Sharp says there are big plans for the new production company. Gary is letting the secret out of the bag with the production company. Yes. We think that there's great potential for Jamaica to um, see the entertainment values. With, 200 and, with 196 acres, right, there are some nice entertainment spots that we have already identified mm -hmm. that will be created. He says after much contemplation, SVL was the ideal partner for this project. He also disclosed that the new production company may become an active player in the regional entertainment industry. And when you think of the, the relationship with SVL, it's, it's so easy, it's a no-brainer. Some of my other partner clients have never really wanted to take this opportunity. They, they use my um, business um, to look good, but I think SVL identified a real opportunity to make this thing bigger and to really um, potentially even look down, down in the Caribbean. Net international reserves declined by 1.34 million U.S. dollars in April, though the Bank of Jamaica said the reserves fell to 3 billion 317 million dollars. At that level, it will be able to purchase a little over one year of imports. To currency trading now, it ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for 152 dollars 15 cents. The Canadian dollar is going for $126.08. The pound closed at $212.95, while the euro is being sold for $184.82. And the JC index gained 6,789 points today, while the junior market index advanced by 22 points. Among the winners were 138 Student Living, Lasco Financial Services, Stationery and Office Supplies, Guardian Holdings, and Pulse Investments. On the losing side were Blue Power Group, Consolidated Bakeries, JMMB Group 7.25%, Seprod and Consolidated Flavors, and that should be Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances. And that's the Financial Week. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.